Space, the final frontier. Boundless, chaotic, peaceful. And now something we can create in real time using virtual production. The term virtual production means different things to different people, but essentially it's become the umbrella term for all types of content production, where real-time 3D graphics, photorealistic or not, are composited with real or 3D generated foregrounds and backgrounds. The term virtual production encompasses virtual studios, augmented reality, virtual reality, mixed reality, on-set previs, and on-set finishing. So why has VP become so popular in the last few years? Traditionally, virtual production was the reserve of big-budget feature films and high-end TV stations due to the equipment costs involved. However, the rise of high-performance games engines providing real-time photorealistic backgrounds for very little cost, combined with new types of precision camera and lens tracking, meant that background scenes could be created in computer graphics and shot for less than it would cost to shoot them using a real set or location. Additionally, virtual production adoption has been further accelerated by the coronavirus pandemic, where travel restrictions and social distancing have resulted in new workflows where portable studios travel to the crew and talent, and virtual studio environments are created by smaller, remotely located teams. Virtual production innovation is driven by the feature film VFX market. The techniques and technologies developed here trickle down to all other virtual production markets. Traditional film VFX workflows involve green screen shoots where 3D VFX backgrounds are added in post-production. However, one problem with this workflow is that typically only the director, DP and VFX supervisor are able to visualize the final composite shot since they will have previously seen the 3D VFX backgrounds, which means that costly positional mistakes can easily be made by the talent on set, which only shows up in post-production. Reducing these costly mistakes is one of the key drivers in the next development of film VFX production, on-set previs. This technique finally enabled the whole cast and crew to see each blue screen take with its 3D background moving in sync and in parallax with the studio shoot. This meant that positional or eyeline errors between actors and 3D graphic elements could be corrected quickly on set, but it required a change in workflow where the creation of 3D assets happened ahead of the main shoot and in conjunction with more pre-production planning. On-set previs certainly reduced the post-production load by reducing composite errors, but this was outstripped by the rapid increase in VFX post-production required for the explosion of VFX-heavy films. It's still a problem today with the worldwide post-production compositing capacity insufficient to meet both current and future VFX demands. Which is why production companies have been trying to reduce post-production processes by moving them further up the production pipeline to pre-production or to production itself. The latest film VFX production technique that takes advantage of this workflow reordering is on-set finishing, which is where we see LED volumes enter the world of film VFX production. What if instead of just pre-visualizing the complete compositive shot on set, where the final compositing happens later in post-production, we instead finalize compositing on set and record this as the final deliverable? Well, then we wouldn't need post-production, right? Correct, but there's more to this as we'll discover. Using LED screens, or green screen studios for that matter, to produce the final composite on set in real time, and in doing so, removing the post-production entirely, is what's driving the excitement and interest in using LED walls or volumes. In adopting this technique, it seems that we've come full circle from the early rear screen projection car chase scenes in many of the 60s and 70s films, which were termed in-camera effects because the background projection and foreground were shot simultaneously, to today's LED volume onset finishing. They both use similar techniques, even though the technologies are different. So which is best? Blue screen versus LED wall? What about onset previs and post-production versus onset finishing? The answer is it very much depends on the type of VFX shot you're doing. LED volumes are great for VFX shots where the talent doesn't have a wide range of movement. They provide natural looking lighting on the talent, true reflections in real glass windows, and the foreground and background don't require color correction matching. However, LED walls are expensive. They limit focus pulling, camera angles, and suffer from wiry patterning and they have a lack of shadows, but they're incredibly engaging for both crew and talent as the combined VFX shot fills the studio rather than just filling a monitor. Green screens can also be used for on-set finishing, but the more normal workflow involves on-set previs followed by post-production compositing. 
Green screen production is lower cost and highly scalable, but post-production costs can easily offset the lower production costs. Green screen production does allow the talent a wide spectrum of movement, and there are no issues with wiring patterning, loss of shadows, limited camera angles, or focus pulling restrictions. But there's also no natural lighting from the green screen onto the talent. So this needs to be added in post or added with clever on-set lighting. Plus, there's usually green or blue spill on the talent and props that needs removing in post-production. The obvious benefits of virtual production are cost savings on set construction, not requiring locations or the travel of people and equipment to and from these locations, reduced post-production costs, and an overall increase in production throughput. In addition, virtual production enforces better preparation in pre-production since 3D graphic elements are required ahead of the shoot and in final version resolution rather than a guide resolution. Virtual production also enables the creation of high-value VFX content by almost any media entity and at a cost that's compelling versus its earning potential. So what's the future of virtual production and what's coming next? Fully enclosed LED volumes are already here and on-set finishing will see more post-production processes added to the real-time compositing stack, further improving the quality of the final result. But ultimately, we're heading to a fully computer graphic based virtual production environment, one where the talent comprises photorealistic 3D avatars of well-known actors whose movements and facial expressions are driven by lower cost actors using motion capture suits, all immersed in increasingly higher quality photorealistic scenes. Virtual production is finally delivering all that it originally promised. Pre-production is the new post-production, and the traditional mantra of fix it in post is now fix it in pre.